Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club, and today we've got a guest. Noxie. That's right, Noxie boy. And we are out here today in the prairie. We are shooting some 308 battle rifles. Now guys, this right here is the FAL. This is the right arm of the free world. So let's take a few shots with this and see how this functions. You ready? How about you? High five. Knuckles. Boom. All right, we're gonna take a few shots. Here we go. High five. There we go. I love you, baby. All right, you ready? I love you. How about you? All right, five shots. Here we go. Thanks, baby. So that was the FAL, and I have to be honest, this was a very sweet shooting rifle. Now, one of my very, very, very favorites is my Galil 329. Again, a semi-auto 308 AK pattern rifle, although it doesn't take any AK parts. Um, it's clearly, clearly patterned after the AK rifle. So this gun is a dream to shoot. I love, love, love my Galil. Here we go. Ready, Noxie? Thank you, baby. Nice one. That gun right there, that might be the cream of the crop. The M1A SOCOM. This is the SOCOM 16. This is an M1A. This is America's version of all of this. And, uh, I do like this rifle. It's not my very, very favorite rifle, but I do like it. Um, so let's go take a few shots with the M1A. All right, guys. So the M1A is fired from a box magazine. Of course, 308. It's got a really odd pattern. It's got this weird rock and lock kind of pattern when you're loading the magazine and the rifle. That's just feels odd to me. I guess you could get used to it, but it just feels odd. Once it's in, you're gonna charge the weapon right here. Your safety is inside of the trigger guard right here, which feels a little unsafe, but when the safety's on, it is what it is. Bless you! All right, you want daddy to take a couple of shots? Well, this, this take a shot. All right, you tell the camera what daddy's gonna do. He's going to shoot his gun. I think I'm gonna shoot the M1A. Yeah. All right, you ready? You. All right, All here right. we go. Failure to eject. All right, you ready, Noxy? All right, here we go. Failure to eject. Let me try something here and see if it's the, let's see if it's the gas block. I forget which way this goes, but horizontal is off and vertical is on. Um, all right, you ready to try again? Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's see if she feeds. All right. Now we're running. So guys, that is it. M1A SOCOM. Very nice shooting rifle. All right, guys, and the last gun that I'm going to shoot here today is my Zastava ZPAP. This is a Serbian AK. This is an absolutely awesome rifle. It's a very good uh, option for people who maybe can't find themselves a Galil or something like that. So let's take a few shots with this 
I'll try to avoid getting shot in the side of the face with Noxie's shotgun here, but you ready? Five shots, here we go. All right. I don't know if this is sighted in, but let's find out. Baby. All right, guys. So that was the Zastava ZPAP uh, PAP M77. That's a Serbian AK pattern. This was a is ab absolutely an awesome rifle. If you're looking for an AK pattern 308 rifle, um, that's not three thousand dollars like the Galil. This really truly would be a great option. Um, but all in all, I would have to say that I think the uh, the FAL was probably the nicest shooting out of these 308 battle rifles the galil probably takes takes the cake for me that's probably my favorite rifle in the mix um but any of these truly truly are good options um great rifles and i think 308 is potentially the way to go your 556 your 762 by 39 are all really great rounds but that 308 packs a punch so I just wanted to show you guys a few 308 battle rifles give you guys a few options take you out into the prairie with me and noxy boy here today while we did a little shooting so until next week you guys stay safe and keep prepping